so you found that perfect spot for a communal base and secured it. You also gathered supplies so no one goes hungry for a long time. But what now? It's only a matter of time before the water and electricity go out, and that stockpile of food isn't going to last forever. Just because the foundation of a base is laid doesn't mean that you're ready for long-term survival. In my previous videos, our team secured the gated community in Riverside as our new home, but we didn't have a proper setup for renewable sources of food and water, and our furniture blockade was only a temporary solution for the neighborhood's exits. Things almost fell completely apart when David accidentally destroyed Clark's new car, but our leader, Button, was able to de-escalate the situation and shift our focus back on the goal at hand. Now all we needed were the proper supplies. This is Eric with Pixel Rookie, and this is the story of how six idiots created the perfect base for long-term survival. Button gathered everyone together to discuss their new plans, but first, we took a moment to mourn the loss of that perfect car that was taken too soon. So, uh, I've gathered you gentlemen here because uh, I'd like to hold uh, a funeral. Betsy, we didn't know her long, but uh, she was a good car. She was a good car. Maybe one of the best. <laughs> and I'm gonna miss her. Clark, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I love you, Tap. I love you too, Clark. Does uh does anybody have any kind words to say to Betsy uh before we I do, I do. Um Alright, come up and speak, Eric. Go ahead and go up and speak. Um so my name's Hot Dog. Oh, oh zombie! 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 Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh. oh, get it! <laughs> it's respect. We're having a funeral here for a car. Yeah. How did they get in? <laughs> that is an excellent question. I might have forgot to close the door. I'll be honest with you, I might have forgot the button. After the memorial for Betsy the car abruptly ended, Button proceeded with sharing his new plan. So last time we did Operation Cuck, and Operation Cuck was a complete success. Because we have the base secured, we are going to be trying to expand and repair the neighborhood. Now, to fix the mistakes we made last time, we needed everybody to cooperate together. So this has been named Project Erect. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it already. <laughs> so the plan, like the last plan, involves us splitting into two groups. There will be the home team and the away team. Now, unfortunately, because of David's condition, we're gonna have to quarantine him for the duration of this project. The away team, is going to need to get hard. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Already there. The away team or the home team is going to make the neighborhood great again. But we'll get to that. I guess I, uh, I misordered the, uh, the problems. <laughs> the away team needs to travel to the hardware store. Your objective going to the, the hardware store is to collect building supplies for uh, expansion of our of our base. Now, something to note. We've had alarms go off in the nearby area, so you're going to want to be wary of other possible survivors. We don't know uh, who's hostile and who's friendly, but we know that they're around, so be on the lookout. Now, the home team is going to be making the neighborhood great again. Now, in order to do that, we're going to clear out the local houses, so that's all the ones nearby. Now, there is a, a fallback plan here. And the fallback plan here is simply Operation Wildcard, which is named after Clark. <laughs> and should Clark decide to run off on his own, Eric and Tao are 100% permitted to abandon your ass. Let's go! Oh, I love this plan already. Button concluded Project Erect, and it was time to rise and take action. Uh, away team, once you're ready to head out, um, go up to the top of the fence. It's like the, the rendezvous point. So we can we can send you off with a goodbye. Let's Let's say goodbye to our brave away team going out into the world, risking their lives for us. Bye, guys. This is what you guys are going to look like later. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Hey! Wait, Button, before you go, tell Heath to stop that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> gah, gah, see you later, fools. All right, boys. Tao, you ready? We've got adventuring to do. The men split into two teams, and we went back out towards uncharted territory. But I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, my God. 
No, watch out for that on the right. Oh, whoa, whoa, sneak, 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 boys, sneak. Boy, this is like a broom. Oh, it's no, broken. Oh, towel, sneak. Towel, sneak. Towel, you're, oh, okay, back up, fall back, fall back. <laughs> that was the run button, that was not the sneak button. Uh, go into the park, go into the park. Okay, we got it, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We've already lost okay, Clark. Okay. We like went five steps outside, we've already lost them. Get out of here. All right, Tao, we're, we're good. Fortunately for Tao and myself, Clark didn't completely ditch us. He was just a little further ahead right before the nearby church. Okay, there's uh, Clark. Oh my God, there's a lot of zombies ahead of us. What could have brought all these zombies to the church? I have no idea. Boy, that is weird. What could be po possibly interesting about this church? Could it have something to do with what Button said earlier? I feel very inclined to investigate the church. I also feel like investigating this church. When we approached the church, we saw that Button's suspicions were correct. Wait, 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 wait. Hello there. How are you guys? Hello. <laughs> what, a, what a polite way to start off first contact in a zombie apocalypse. So literally frame one, as I loaded in, there was a zombie that bit me. Like, <laughs> no, instant... wait, are you bit? Are you actually yeah. bit? No, like, literally the instant I loaded in, I was getting mauled by a zombie. Two more friendly survivors, Gax and Riley. But Riley was already bit, and I knew what had to be done. So you're already infected. That's terrible. Le wait, wait, here. I, l let, me let me take care of this. No, no, l oh, let's just oh, wait. Shoot, that's <laughs> That's not even the right person, Eric. Instead of trying to put down Riley, who was bit, I was confused and attacked Gax, but when PvP was toggled on, I realized we still couldn't hurt him. It turned out, Button had disabled PvP since the very beginning, just in case. I don't think we can kill him. I think he did disable. PvP is turned off. Dang it. Why do you have such a predisposition for shanking, Eric? Like, what, what's up with you? I'm saying, hey, what'd you say about me? <laughs> I'll, I'll cut you. I'll just run out the front door and just scream at the zombies. How about that? No, 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 no. Don't scream at the zombies. That's a terrible idea. Sadly, Riley was a lost cause, but we still had to complete the mission. Okay, crouch, boys. <laughs> oh, that is all, okay. Many zombies. Uh, down, 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 down. Get him. Yeah, yeah, get him. Who's screaming? Who's hey youing? Why oh, no, did no, you hey you? Run. Get out of here! No gas, <laughs> wrong way! Get out! Run, run! Just go. <laughs> Keep going. There's no turning back. What an honor serving with you guys. At least Riley's death wasn't in vain. Clark, have you checked out that car? Cause it's looking pretty nice. It is. Do you wanna do you wanna go check it out, Clark? I would love to. Oh, what are you? Uh sir? Are you what what do you do for a career? For myself? I, I I am a park ranger. That means I was taking care of the jockey bear. Yogi Bear, <laughs> let's go. As I'm pressing I forward a little bit. I, I do like yeah. your hat. I, I am a big fan of yeah. it. Okay, a few coming, Hello. a few coming. While we were scouting ahead, Clark was taking care of business with the car. You get, you get out of our neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh, be careful, be careful. You get bit, you get smashed. No. What happened? Go back, okay, go back. Good. No, no, it's good. I got it. Oh, we guys, got get in, get in, get in! Wait, I got it! In. I got it working! Get in, get in! Seat occupied? Are you kidding me? Get in. What do you mean seat occupied? They're all occupied. Every every seat is occupied. No, there's four! There's a four-seater! Apparently not! Um, by the way, guys, I'm I'm left where you guys were previously. Right. <laughs> oh no, I found oh, it, I found it, I found it. Get in, Eric! Get in! Get in, get in, Eric! Get in! Where are you? I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming, come, 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 come. In! Uh, okay, I've got in. massive legs. Run, 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 yeah. run, run. I'm in, the, I'm in the back seat, Tao. Get in the passenger side. Press E at the passenger side. That's the driver's no, side. No, the passenger no, the, side. It's not you. It's side. America, I'm, not Europe. Uh, America. It's America. It's not the America, Tao, side. not your dumb ass <laughs> fucking sweet Why we have the same passenger side? It was just stupid. They get in. There we go. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. After a very smooth getaway, Clark took off in our newly acquired car. We pulled up to the hardware store and got ready to loot whatever supplies were inside. Okay, Tao, I'm with you. I'm with you, buddy. Not this horde back here. Back up, back up. Ooh. That's good. We good? We good? All right, boys. 
Yeah, we're good. While the hardware store was stocked with building materials, we weren't able to find any axes or sledgehammers, which would have been really useful. Regardless, we loaded up as much as we could into our inventories. Yeah, I, I think I was going. Oh, sweet. We got we got seeds and stuff. Got to bring that back to Heath. I killed all of that. <laughs> Uh, this car might be ruined, I'm not gonna lie. It might get us to the police station, but hey. Looting the hardware store didn't take as long as we were expecting, and with a car, we decided it would be easy enough to go to the police station just a little bit further down the road. We arrived at the police station parking lot and it was relatively clear, which was a good sign. Here, you guys can get out. Ugh. Let's go. Guys, guys, uh, what? guess what I found? What? What did you found? Cigarettes? Cigarettes! Oh, yay! I found my cigarettes! Unfortunately, the hardware store didn't have any axes or tools that let us break down the door leading to the armory and the police station, so it was time to move on. All right, um, let's, maybe we should check the gas station too while we're here, because that will actually give it, do you have your gas tank? I do, and I have a car that works. Yeah, I need you to protect me while I refuel. I'm sorry, right. did you say you want me to smash a window? Bleach? I found bleach for those interested. Oh, sweet. Get the bleach. I love bleach. The sweet nectar. At this point, we scavenged the hardware store, police station, and gas station for supplies. It was getting late and it was time for us to return home. Oh, did you get the second vehicle? Yeah. Dibs. Dibs on second vehicle. Dibs. Or no, Tao, hop in with me. Yeah, I'm jumping. Look at my Sunday driving skills. Look at how fast I go. <laughs> gotcha. Get in with me. Okay, Eric, pedal to the metal. It's time to burn some rubber. Let's go. This is so slow. Like, I run quicker than this. Oh, Sunday driver sucks. This is the fastest I can drive, Clark. Tao and I arrived back home like we discussed, but it turned out that Clark had his own plans. All right, well, uh, since you're with me, Gax, we're going on a, a top secret mission. Uh, I don't... What are we going, Clark? They yeah. didn't do a very good job of cleaning up the corpses. I'm not going to lie. I'm being a bit disappointed at what I see here, is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I mean, I thought we were very successful, but I don't know about what they did. Oh, hey, hey! We reunited with Heath and Button and we filled them in on our mission. Conveniently enough, another survivor ended up walking to the neighborhood named Riley and joined the team. He definitely didn't have any affiliation with the previous two survivors we found. Gax, on the other hand. I am kidnapped. I got kidnapped. <laughs> so please send help. Heath, I have good news. What is it? I found many seeds. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. At last. So Eric and Tao, what kind of what kind of goodies did you bring? So nothing many. substantial in terms of hardware. We found a lot of nails, um, some glue. Uh, nails are nails are really useful. And house five is the food house. House five is the food house, yes. We're currently in the process of moving extra fridges into that house. Riley, you clean it up. Hey Riley, I can't Apparently I'm feeling queasy and and of minor pain. So either I'm dying or he's just gross. Um, that's not a great sign. Why is your hand? Wait, 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 wait. Why is your hand bandaged? It was a scratch. It was just a scratch. He's feeling queasy after getting scratched by a zombie. This is a bad sign. Turns out Riley, who has no affiliation with the previous two survivors found, was just as unlucky as the first Riley, even though they aren't related in any way. During all this, Clark took Gax against his will to a factory in the outskirts of Riverside to look for additional supplies. Gax, I lost you. Where'd you go? There you are. Follow me. So at what point do you feel safe enough that instead of dressing for protection, you dress for sweet fashion? I don't think you do that in a zombie apocalypse, Eric. Um, if I'm being, if I'm being honest. That, that sounds like an opinion. And, and to be quite frank, it sounds like a pretty <laughs> bad opinion too. Yeah, I disagree. <laughs> I mean, it is the apocalypse, I suppose. Like you want to be comfortable. I'm just going to loot up on a couple more things and we're good to go. Um, Riley, how's your character's health doing? Uh, I, it might it might be ticking down a little bit. I think I'm dying. That is extremely unfortunate. But you know, so, for the for the oh wait, I'm not queasy anymore. Maybe I'm living. The scratch is severely infected. So uh, come with me. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you some medical attention. After scouring the factory, Clark found an axe, which would definitely come in handy. Clark and Gax returned to the police station so that he could put his new weapon to good use. But this is an important mission, Gax, so uh, just get prepared for what we're about to do. We're going in. We're gonna sit here, Clark, and watch you do all the work. We're in. Let's get it. Oh, we have the bunch of ammunition here. Yes. Gax! 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 Yo! Yo! What? What? Stop robbing the- <laughs> I got the- <laughs> 
the bulletproof vest. After looting the rest of the police station, they finally returned home to meet up with the others. Oh, so this is the base that I have been hearing about. This is the base, indeed. Welcome. Welcome to the community. Okay, uh, yeah. let's all meet up outside of house two, which is um, Clark's car house. Oh, Heath, wow, Heath. Heath, did you grow a garden in the back of your house? You better believe I did. That's beautiful. Button called everyone together for a debriefing. All right, so uh, because Operation Erect was a complete success, <laughs> you guys got hard very quickly. Uh, really quickly. Uh, in fact, maybe a little too quickly. This is a, a turning point for us. We have increased our population. We have acquired the hardware necessary to build walls. We, uh, we, have, we have made a lot of progress. We now had a garden laid out and construction supplies for a wall to secure the entrances and build rain collection barrels, which would ensure that when the water and electricity went out, we would be prepared. And with this, our new home was finally given a name, Tuck Town. I had I had a joke prepared for if we failed and it was it was an erectile dysfunction joke that I don't get to use. But <laughs> yeah. Dang it! <laughs> wait, wait, everyone, spin. This is perfect. <laughs> this is the way. Oh, this is the way to go. This is when the sure. power goes out. This is how we generate <laughs> electricity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like a dog that has worms. We're like dragging our butts on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also want to thank my patrons who are generously supporting my channel so that I can make videos like this more regularly. I really appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good one.